Welcome back to the second part of our tutorial where we want to import the step file from the first part into Salome. And to do this, we create a new file in Salome. And the first working space we need is the shaper. And the shaper is looking like this and we can import here uh, no uh, import from a CAD format that includes step. So we click this and this submenu uh, opens where we again have to uh, choose step. Um, I already said in the first tutorial you could use other formats uh, also here like STL or IGES, but step works very good. So import file and we have to choose our tutorial case again, tutorial one step. This is it's the file we created. And we can leave everything here like it is, import to part one. So that's the standard, so it's imported there. That's good. Hit the apply button. Whoop. And because of the dimensions, it's very small. So you can, or you have to zoom in to see something. And here is our pipe elbow. Um, and the, so we can use here in the look here in the menu and see that here is our tutorial one uh, geometry. And the first thing we want to do is define where we want our inlet, outlet, and walls. And for that, we have to go into the features and into the group features. And there we have to define, um, like we can call it inlet. Here it's also important that you, uh, it's uh, upper and lower case sensitive. So uh, we use only lower case because it's more easy later. And you have to remember that because in open form you have to make all set uh, all settings also case sensitive. So the inlet, and we want to have the inlet here, and we need to choose uh, the type um, that is a face, so that he will show, okay, when I go with the mouse over this inlet part here, then we can click on that, and it's called shape four, but that's not so important. It's also too important that he, that this is one inlet uh, face. So what we have to remem remember, the, that is number four, but we will see later why. So when you hit this uh, apply and continue button, you can immediately define the outlet. And the outlet is here. Oh, hello. Oop. And it's shape five. So we can see, yeah, looks not so good, but it's five. And now we have our walls. And the walls is everything else. So first we do choose everything. So he has every shape uh, as walls but we have to exclude the inlet and outlet. So we will delete the five and the four. And now we click this because we are done. So we have now inlet, outlet and walls defined. And this is, uh, yeah, the first step in Salome. And the second step is to create a mesh. And for this, we switch from the shaper to the mesh here. And we have to look inside this menu here and click on the tutorial folder. Uh, when we no oh, shaper results. So activate it. Um, and then we have to click on this small button that uh, means create mesh. So it will create a new mesh. And because you have selected this, you will 
create a mesh for this. And we have to choose um, two, par two parameters, the three-dimensional here, we choose algorithm netgen 3 d And we have to select the parameters uh, here with this left button. Um, and we have to define how big uh, the mesh uh, should be. I think it's in meters, so we only had 100 millimeters uh, geometry, so we will choose a mesh size of a maximum of one millimeter, or no, a maximum of five millimeters and a minimum of one millimeter. Okay, and we also have to define a 2D algorithm where we choose netgen 1D, 2D. And make it the same, 0 0.5 and 1. And um, everything else can be left as it is. So apply and close. And now he generated uh, a new mesh. And um, no, he is not generated. He is uh, he has uh, only set the uh, settings for this mesh. But now, when you click a, a right click on this, you have to click compute. And when you click compute, he will generate the mesh. And this looks quite good. And you can see it's a. Uh, uh, quite big because we have set 100 millimeters long and it's 1 to 5 millimeters mesh size. He makes uh, the actual size of every part uh, individually. So there are some uh, some parts that are yeah, uh, 1 millimeter and others are 5. So, But in this example, this is enough for us. So we have this mesh here and we can now uh, we have to export here and we can export this mesh into a UNV file. This is also the best in my experience for open foam because there is a good converter and we go here into the file and call it tutorial 2 ideas UNV file everything else is okay and we save it and now we have in our uh, case folder this UNV file and in the next uh, episode we will see how to convert this in open form and work with it <laughs>